I said, thank you, Dad. I miss you. <laughs> Sorry. Something's crazy. Who would have believed it? Because of that little bit of handwriting, we have this uh, um, uh, transatlantic relationship that will last forever. On March 26th, 1945, Charles Stanley Pryor was being flown back to the United Kingdom after sustaining injuries while fighting in Germany. He was laying incapacitated on a stretcher facing the ceiling of the aircraft where he left his signature and a message. As City News first reported last year, in 2019, his message was rediscovered, along with many others after the bulkhead insulation was removed by a restoration team. This week, his daughter, Jenny, was flown to the Canadian warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton so she could see the message for herself still etched inside the plane that flew her father to safety. I had goosebumps, I had tears. Jenny, who grew up in the UK, where she still lives, says her father, like many, rarely spoke about the war. This was like he'd come back again, like in that aircraft. It was as if Dad was with me. I'm sorry, but Dad was with me. How, how does seeing this uh, change or update uh, what you knew about your father? Oh, yeah. This is the icing on the cake. Extremely excited and very, very moved because uh, she can actually feel her father. When I first started and I heard this story and saw a photograph of the handwriting, it really intrigued me. It was Mike Tabone, a volunteer at the museum, who tracked her down using his spare time during the COVID shutdown to start connecting the dots, an endeavor that took two years. I started doing a bit of research and lo and behold, I ended up finding Jenny. He also discovered more about Pryor himself other than his service in the British Army that he lived until 1989, loved watching football, playing darts, gardening, and was well known in town for whistling while riding his bike. When you realized you had successfully made contact with Jenny, yes. uh, how exciting was that? It, I had to read it a couple of times when I, when I got the first connection with her. As for the plane itself, it flew for both the Canadian and British Air Forces before eventually moving to civilian service. It still flies today. There's a lot of C-47s that are around today that uh, did fly on D-Day. Uh, but this one, because of the signatures that we were able to find them, really does make it a special, special aircraft. The museum says the aircraft is available to the public for viewing and that headway is being made connecting with living relatives of other passengers. Meanwhile, Jenny says she's planning on bringing back lots of photos to show the rest of the family. Definitely. In Hamilton, David Zura, City News.